Hey guys, it's Jayla Jane here, and we're gonna get right into this makeup tutorial. I am already starting off with a bare clean face, and I'm using my Marc Jacobs brush, the face two, and my Neutrogena liquid foundation all over my face. I'm blending down my neck, behind my ears, on my ears. Next, I use the LA Girl Concealer under my eyes, on my nose, my forehead, and my chin, and I'm using my, blend, my Beauty Blender to blend it all out. That is the finished look for that. And then I set under my eyes with my Ben Nye banana powder and I already did my brows because I take forever to do my eyebrows. And then I'm using the shade 1 in the L'Oreal Natural Palette for my brow bone highlight. Then I'm going in with shades 3 and 6 as my transition color. For my eyeshadow base, I use concealer and NYX white eyeshadow base to make it pop more. You're just gonna put that in and win in wind wiper motion and then in circular motions. Then I'm using the special occasion palette by BH Cosmetics and taking a dark purple shade on the second row and putting it all over my lid, making sure I'm packing it on. Then I'm getting my small blending brush and blending out any harsh lines into the crease with no product on it and then add on more product. It's more easier to add on than to put a whole bunch and try to remove it all. Then I'm just dragging the eyeshadow out more and then I went back into that same palette and grabbed this nice dark brown shadow and put it deeper in my crease. I tried to drag it out more on my outer eye corner and then I try to drag it in more into my nose so it could give like that wide eyed effect same with the other eye blend 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 for as long as you want I kind of found it difficult using these products to blend out I found it very hard to blend I guess that's what happens when you get lower end products it's very pigmented but just hard to blend so I try using my finger like the warmth of it to keep blending it to smooth out any harsh lines then I keep going back in switching my brushes adding more product then I went in with a different type of purple from the BH 120 color palette and then I added that right on top of the brown shadow that I put in my crease to deepen it more. Then bring it towards their nose. Use your finger if anything to rub off any product that you don't want. Add on more product because all that blending will take off any eyeshadows from your lid. Then I did the same thing that I did on the top or on the bottom. I used NYX white eyeshadow base then added on the same purples to my lower lash line connecting it to my top lid. Make 
sure you pack it on nice and easy so you won't have any fallouts. Then I went in with BH Cosmetics 60s palette and grabbed this light lavender purple and put it on the bottom in the corner. Make sure to blend that into the dark purple. Sweeping down my nose to connect the purple more to my nose and give it that wide effect. Blend, blend, blend. Then I went back into that 120 color shade palette and grab this nice light shimmery pink and put it on top of the lavender purple on my inner corner. Make sure you use sweet emotions and connect the light pink to your purple. You never want to be able to tell where it starts to be. So at that part, I was just kind of frustrated that I couldn't blend it out, so I just left it as it is. And then I'm using the Marc Jacobs liner for your waterline. Make sure to top to excuse me to tight line. And then I'm using the Best Extreme mascara for your top lashes and lower lashes. Then I'll also use mascara for my brow hairs since I ran out of the brow gel. And these are my last lashes I have left. Well, it's actually the same one for my previous videos, but they're old, so this is the last time I'm going to use them. Then I'm using my L'Oreal Contour Powder in shade N7. It's just a regular face powder, but I'll use it for my contour. Put on your cheekbones, your forehead, your jawline, and your nose. And I'm not sure why, but I love like a strong contoured nose. And then I put it in between my cupid's bow. And then on the bottom of my lip to give it more of that full lip effect. my lips are pretty small you want them to look big give it the illusion of nice full lips boom mm -hmm. and then since we're not gonna really have that much blush Make sure to bring the contour shade to your cheeks because we don't want to have, you know, crazy pink cheeks or crazy red cheeks with purple eyes. Put on your lashes after they've dried. Next, we're moving on to your lips. This is Oak Lip Liner by MAC. This is Stone Lipstick by MAC. So 
a nice dark gray. Then this is Myth right on top of it to lighten it up a bit. I wanted I wanted the um lipstick to match my shirt a bit. Then I set my face with the Urban Decay or Night Setting Spray and you soft and gentle highlight of my back and put it on my inner corner to brighten it up a bit. I just dropped something else that is so aggravating. Then I put on my cheekbones. Then on the tip of my nose. On the upper lip. The bridge of my nose. My forehead. With the lipstick and then put on your chin. I wish I had better lighting. It was very confusing. I was using any light that was entering my house. Then I used some water to wet my hair a bit because I just had a wash and set. I don't really like paint product on my hair unless it's really, really dirty. Just brush up any baby hairs. Button and your night is ready to go. Like, share, and subscribe. I hope you like this video. I wanted it to be a nice purple, darkish, bright look <laughs> for Valentine's Day.